one of the best things I love about boating is that it gives you an opportunity to get away from everything, to get away from that kind of rat race, to from text messages, WhatsApp, Facebook and everything. But occasionally there's times when you want to get an internet connection. And that's what we're going to have a look at this week. How to get an internet connection on a boat. So, so guys, there's basically three ways to get internet on a boat. The first way is simply on your mobile phone. Go into Google, type away. Once you've got a 3G or a 4G connection, you shouldn't have a problem. There's a few drawbacks. First of all, you're going to use up your data allowance. And secondly, it works fine so long as you're in your home country. If you wander into a different country, you're going to pay roaming charges. Right, the second way is to set up a Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone. When you set up a Wi-Fi hotspot, it's effectively a little private network that allows you to connect maybe a laptop, maybe a tablet, and maybe other people's smartphones even onto that hotspot connection. What that does is it will use your data download to feed data to those other items. Again, you can see the problem here. You're eating into your data. Suppose you don't want to use your data. Suppose you want Wi-Fi that's free. Well, that's grand. You can walk around, you can scan for Wi-Fi, and you can hook into a free Wi-Fi hotspot. Maybe you'll go to a cafe, maybe go to a pub or whatever, and get free Wi-Fi. That's fine if you're walking around the town. But suppose you're sitting on your boat at a harbour, half a mile away from a town. Then what do you do? Here's a solution. So one such way is to use a thing called a Wi-Fi booster. This one here is made by Kuma, K-U-M-A, and it works quite well. And what this does is it scans the area looking for a Wi-Fi signal, and it's like an antenna, but it's not passive. In other words, it's not like the antenna on your car or on the roof of your house. This actually sends out a signal, it searches for the Wi-Fi signals, and then it boosts them back to you. Right, so guys, this is basically what the Kuma kit comes with. You have your instruction manual there, this is a little Wi-Fi router. It comes without the aerial attached, but it's only simply a matter of screwing it into the back of it there. There's nothing complex about it. It comes with a power supply. That's a 240 volt one, so that's not going to be much use to you on the boat. I'm going to leave that to one side. But it also comes with an ordinary cigarette lighter socket, which is your 12 volt power supply. That's the one we're going to use when we set it up now. This is the actual antenna itself. So what I've done here, guys, is I've attached the antenna onto a piece of uh, ordinary domestic waste pipe off a sink. I put a glazer's clamp onto one end of it. And again, I've used a few cable ties to hold that in place. And what that allows me to do is I can temporarily put it onto a window outside on the boat and I can turn it to face whatever direction I think the signal is coming from. So this piece here is the actual antenna. And all we'll do is slide this little cover off the bottom. We put that there. The unit comes complete with about five meters of cable. There's a USB connection here, and there's I think what they call a USB B connection there. That just connects in there into the bottom of the unit. The cable goes out there. And then all we have to do is reattach the cover. That's it. That's that part connected, guys. So just to show you, I've connected it onto a weapon pipe. And I've put one of these suction fellas. These are the yokes that a glazer would use to lift a pane of glass. You just It means I can stick that onto the window, lock that down, and I have my antenna. And because this antenna is directional, I can swivel it around inside those clips there. I have to say that works very well. We take the other end of our connection. It just goes into that USB port there on the bottom. That's that. The power supply goes in the other end here. Connect that and we put this into a 12 volt power supply. So here we are guys. This is without using the Kumo booster. We're connected here to Westmead County Council Public Wi-Fi. And let's just have a look and see what kind of speed we're getting. So that, you can tell straight away, is pretty slow. 1.4 megabits per second. That's our download speed. In other words, how 
In other words, you, would, you wouldn't watch a YouTube video on that. You wouldn't be watching this if you were on a connection of 1.3 megabits per second download. Upload will always be a lot slower than download. So there we are, there's our test results. Right. So now guys, we have our antenna put up outside. The router is all connected up and turned on. And when I go into search on the networks, I now see this network here, the 11N3G router. AP just stands for access point. We click on that and we'll get a connection. We open up our browser. I'm going to open another, another tab. I type in the IP address, which is 192.168.2.1. Return on that. It just comes with default passwords, admin, admin. I haven't changed them yet. Clearly, I will have to do that now. Okay, so we're now logged into the router. And the first thing we do is we click on Easy Setup. Because we're connected with a USB cable, we tick the USB box there. And we click Site Survey. Now what will happen is the antenna will scan everywhere looking for available networks. Just expand that out a wee bit. And now you can see the choice of networks we found. So it's far more sensitive than what we were using previously. Okay, there's Westmead County Council. I'm going to connect on that, click select, and click next. Now what will happen is the router will save those details and it will reboot. And when it reboots, we'll get back into it. Just click done there. It takes quite a few minutes for the system to reboot, maybe two or three minutes. And then what you have to do is you close down your browser, you reopen it, make sure that you're connected into your Coomer network and you should have a much faster connection than you had previously. So now the router has rebooted and we are logged back into the Kuma network and straight away you can see our download speed has increased a heck of a lot. It was 1.3 megabits per second and we're now at 3.2 megabits per second. Be interesting to see now what the upload speed is. We were getting 0.4 megabits per second without using the, the Wi-Fi booster. And there she is, up to 0 0.8, 0 0.9 there. So, more than double. So, that's free Wi-Fi. The thing about the Kuma is, it has a range of about one and a half kilometers. Well guys, I hope you found that a bit useful. The Kumo kit that I got, I bought on eBay. It was a returned one, so it was you know factory reconditioned. And uh, I think it cost about 150 euros. They're normally, in and around 200 euros. Um, I have to say, I find it brilliant. There is another product out there. There's probably plenty more products out there. I know there's another one called iBoost, and I think it's a very similar thing, and it probably works just as well. Since we got the Wi-Fi booster, I found it really, really helpful, and a plan at the moment for the coming season is that we're going to head up the Balnamore Canal and up into Loch Erne. If we do that, we'll be crossing the border, so we would be roaming and we couldn't use the Wi-Fi, or we couldn't use the 3G connection rather on our phones because obviously it's going to run up a huge bill. So it'll hopefully our Wi-Fi booster will come into its own at that stage. So here's my question for you. What are you using to get internet on your boat? Can you use it when you go abroad? Let us know in the comments below. Cheers guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next vlog. Take care. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our videos, and if you have, please click the round subscribe button at the top right hand corner of the screen, the one with the notification bell. That way YouTube will send you a notification as soon as our next video is out. If you have any comments, please leave them below. We would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Cheerio.